previously on Todd TV. Hey, happy birthday! Cheers! 30 year old Todd Santos signed his life. Please don't get so close right now. No, and no. his privacy over to you. You're like a little gerbil for reality TV. In week three, America kicked Todd off the beach. Hey, Todd, grow up. I'm not your bitch. Hey, Viewer Scott Davis, a classic type A, and his roomie Carly, a new age guru, gave Todd a room uh, with a view. We're both nudie babies, so he sleeps naked, I sleep naked. While Todd was in shock, his mother got along great with both of them. ACDC did my favorite page. <laughs> it was a tough week. Todd met his match. Letting me Todd Sandler. The Todd who could replace him. I've been waiting for an opportunity like this for a long time. But it wasn't all bad. Todd finally jammed with Bret Michael. It sounded sweet. Cheers. And received an offer no musician can refuse Don. from record producer oh Don God. Was. I will do everything I can to make sure that your music is heard. America in the Battle of the Babes, you picked Gina. You didn't think I was attractive? But Todd picked up his old flame, Andrea, instead. In the end, it all came down to two questions. First, should Todd stick it out with Gina? Or should he follow his heart right over to Andrea's place? And second, does Todd deserve a chance to find a band? America, please let me form a band. Or should he sing the blues as a street performer? Need financing for your idea? At CIT, we see what you see. And by SBC Communications. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like... White powdery substance on it. And here we got the drugstore. Get the DVD. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye, Bruce. Love you. Tonight on Todd TV. Six weeks of dramatic change. Cameras 24 7. And complete lack of free will drive Todd to the edge. The tension. The show f blows. The heartbreak. I'm not afraid of a commitment if I found the right person. And the euphoria. I can't tell you the day I'm having today. It's the biggest week of Todd's life. Why don't you come by the studio? And by the end of tonight, you will make the biggest decision of the series. Do you allow Todd to keep the life you built for him? Or do you take it all away? Just tell me. But first, the results from last week's questions. What would you do with the five grand? Should Todd spend it on his dream, a motorcycle, or give it away, $100 at a time? And... Who gets to make his own Todd TV? Todd. You think this is reality television? I mean, think again. Or this viewer, Keller, who thinks Todd TV sucks because of Todd. Todd, you just you whine about everything, and I think you could do a lot better. You obviously haven't been the star of your own reality show. Your decisions and the final question of the series. Todd's life is in your hands. Voting on an answer for that, pal. Tonight on Todd TV. Charade. I don't need to be paid. We got a road to your smile that needs to be paid. Don't try to bring me down. I'm just trying to cope. Or can you say dope? Or can you say dope? Just when you think. Hey. Hi. I need a hug. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> What the f is doing that guy? You have every opportunity. I haven't seen you try to assert yourself with Brett Michaels anymore, get with Don Was to do anymore. Huh? That's ridiculous. What the hell does the think he is? But you can handle it. It was a pretty rough Todd Hall. I, I had no idea what was up with that kook Keller, but uh, we all just went out for a quick drink afterwards.
What do you think about Keller? You think they're going to vote for Keller? I don't think they're going to vote for Keller. I don't think so either. Who's your girlfriend? Can I say that? Your girlfriend? What's that? Can I say your girlfriend's here? No, you can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. So your name's Todd. Your name's Cassandra. Yeah. Do you come here often? Do you come here often? Do you come here often? That's a good line. Todd was getting a lot of attention from all the girls, and I was annoyed. I go out and say goodbye to her. Oh, she left me. Without saying goodbye, wow. Here's where the controversy starts. This thing never shuts off, does it? What is it about the portrayal that you don't like? You know, let's. The, I could. I could use some fresh air. You know. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I was interviewing Todd, and we were talking about him being upset over his portrayal on the show. And we decided to take a little break and went outside, and, and he just unloaded. The show blows, and I'm in the middle of it. Who the is Keller? Who the is Keller? If I wasn't pissed poor, I would have said this is stupid. Episode five is on tomorrow, and you, you still have your heads up your asses. And what the f am I supposed to say in a f interview? A two year old could have done a better show than this? I can't believe you guys call yourself professionals? Todd, eat a hot pepper. Whippy. You don't get another opportunity to like something like Todd TV, all right? You don't get another opportunity. I'm the funnest f I've ever met. What if it's here's half a million dollars to start your new life? And I say, these producers have their heads up f asses. What Happens to me. Do you think there's anything you can do to make it better? Yeah, fire everyone who's working for me. They're not going to put on how I really feel. Well, write this down. Do you have a pen on you? There's not a person on planet Earth that knows exactly what I've gone through. But I do know how hard it is to create a show like this on the fly. I feel a lot better. I'll tell you that much. Thank you. I came outside because I heard this motorcycle. I saw George there with his classic motorcycle and his little sidecar there. It was a pretty funny sight. How's it going? It's going well. You feel right at home there, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Is this yours? Yeah, this is my rig. All right, that's what I figured. This nice. is, so this is America's first big decision as to whether or not you're going to take five grand mm. and 100 bucks at a time give it to people who need it or $5,000 for a motorcycle yep. for yourself. OK. So uh, just want to see what's in there. Just tell me what's in there. Five grand. This is my bling bling. So, you know what it is? I'm 100% positive it's for charity. Well, 70% of, of everybody at home, 70% said that. You're getting a motorcycle. You're the biggest charity of all, apparently. Are you serious? I swear, I be 99%. Yes, this is not a joke. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Really? I, 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 I thought, I'm, I, I'm blown away. I am blown away right now. We're going to go check out some bikes. Awesome. You asked for this. <sighs> After you, sir. Right. Take a look. See what you like. How you guys doing? Hi. George. Brandon. George. Todd. Todd. Nice to meet you. Brandon, nice I've to never you. had the money for anything like this. So I've never envisioned a certain type of bike. I've just envisioned a bike. Can we get the twain training wheels thrown in? Yeah, for sure. Here's the same bike in a different color. Chicks like bigger bikes. Really? Size matters? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Size matters. That's a beautiful looking ride, for sure. After a little while, I found this one bike that I really wanted. And then we came across the street to the Harley dealership. I don't know anything about motorcycles whatsoever, Brian. But when I picture a Harley, I don't picture this type of bike. OK. You know what I mean? Let me show you what I think you're, you're interested in. Okay. Check it out, man. All That's right. a Roking classic there. Oh my God! What are you What are you looking at for something like this? Uh, Twenty-one seven nine five. Okay, now tax. what am I looking at for something like this? Twenty-one seven nine five. Come to find out, it's twenty-one grand, and that's a little out of my price range right now. Now, what is the sticker on this? This is uh, right under ten grand. It's nine 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 five. That is right under ten grand. <laughs> After sitting on the Harley, I was in love, but it was way too much money. So I went back to the first dealer. Well, if I offer him eight, he's not going to meet me halfway. If I offer him two, maybe we can meet at eight. You know what I mean? Jesus. Oh, could... my God. Hey, look. Look at what we got here. Look at what we got here. It's the 
gnarly guy. That's hysterical. There's gonna be a fist fight. Typically, I would never chase a customer down, but I knew Todd was new, and I hate to see him buy something that he wouldn't be happy with maybe a month down the road. <laughs> it's out front. <laughs> Saying he'll do it for 97.50 right now. Out the door. That does seem like a really good deal. I'll tell you that, Brian. Okay, guys. Bottom line on this bike retails about 10.8 out the door. Right. Okay. Todd TV. We want to do the hookup. We'll do it for 9,300 bucks out the out door. Out the door. Have you decided? Really? Well, yeah. Thank you, sir. I had to go with the home. The bike was more than $5,000, which was my allowance from America, so I had to drop $4,750 of my own money. America, from the bottom of my heart. I think he's happy. Very happy. <laughs> I know America could vote to have me give the bike back, but hopefully I'll get to learn how to ride a bike and squeeze in one ride before they do so. That's awesome. <laughs> Coming up, Todd's riding high till his love life hits the skids. I'm tired of being the fun buddy. Plus, America thinks Todd needs to learn responsibility. I'm very excited to be a daddy. Ah. And later, you'll make the ultimate decision. Does Todd deserve to keep his new life? Stay tuned. Todd, take a cold shower. It's a great way to get going. Another week, another round of view submissions. All right, Rachel Sandoval. Let's do this. Keep it up there. All right. Okay. Okay. You didn't say how long the shower had to be. Ah, I got soap in my eyes. Okay. Todd, do a belly dance for us. <laughs> Maggie Romano. Maggie, I have no idea how to do a belly dance, but I'll try. There you go, Maggie. Hope you're proud of yourself. Todd, you need responsibility. You need a dog! Yes! You get in the car and head to the animal shelter right now. Getting a dog. I wanted to get a, I've been wanting to get a dog for years. The perfect suggestion. It teaches me responsibility. It's exactly what I wanted. It's awesome. How are you doing? Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Welcome to our shelter. I'm Jackie. Hi. Jackie David. Hi. Jake, nice to meet you. We're so glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here. Have you thought about the kind of animal you want? I'm open. A dog? I, oh, yeah. A big dog? Small dog? Um... Because, you know, it, it is a lifetime responsibility, about 15 to 20 years. You ready to make the commitment? I'm ready. 15 to 20 years. I'm ready. Okay, if it's a, and, you know, it's, it's, it's going to cost money and time and resources. It's like having a little Say baby. no more. You want to go? Yeah. Right this way. Okay. Yes. That's a cute I don't think I'm going to be very good at this. This is, this is difficult. And the longer a dog is here, if the dogs aren't adopted out, then, um, you know, and their time is up, we have to humanely euthanize them. I've tried to figure this out. Hey. It's a very confusing situation and emotional. I mean, God, all those dogs are looking at you like, <laughs> come on, man, I'm going to die, you know? Leaving all these dogs behind, it's a terrible feeling. I mean, you can only do what you can do, though. This one's too playful. Wow. There was one dog I just couldn't leave behind. I, it just seemed like we knew each other already. This one's time is almost up. It's up. It's up. It's up. We're just, it's just that we have the space for him. All right, then I'm going to take this dog. I'm going to take this dog. My dog has been at the shelter to the point where his time's up. So if they got a bunch of dogs tomorrow, my, the dog I just got would have been put to sleep. You just saved a life, and you know what? He loved you for his entire life. He's yours for life. You're his hero. I'm very excited to be a daddy. Hey, Carly, come here. Hey, what? Check this out. I'm taking a picture of the dog and emailing it to my sister. So I'm sending cool. it to uh, St. Martin right now, actually. Oh, cool. 
bam. Hi. Hi. I asked Andrea to come over because I hadn't talked to her since she got uh, upset and took off. Now let's get down to us. Is there an I mean, yeah, whatever. Is there an us? Is there an <laughs> us is a question. That's the topic of conversation, isn't is it? Is there an us? Well, did you ever think that maybe if this is an off again, that there's never going to be an on again thing? Are you kidding me? Is it just sex with you? <laughs> no. No. I just, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm freaking 27. I would definitely expect more from a 30-year-old man. I'm tired of being the fun buddy. Let's be realistic here. You have two options, okay? You get married and spend the rest of your lives together in eternal love, or you eventually break up. Which one do you think we're going to be? I had to tell her that I can't give her more. And you know, and we've gone through this before, Andrea, you know? And we'll still be friends. Maybe not. Okay, okay, fine. Why do I like someone that's not willing to do anything? It's pointless. Pointless. Todd basically said that our relationship will never go anywhere. And, you know, that's kind of... It hurts. He has something that's real here, and he's... Letting it get away. Next, can therapy save Todd and Andrea? It sounds like she wants more from you. Plus, this Todd TV viewer thought Todd wasn't being himself. I just don't think it makes much sense. I mean, you don't even know me. Who's taking over Todd TV? Keller or Todd? And later, what America given? America can take it away. Todd could keep his new life or he could lose it all. The decision is up to you. I had a list of things to do for my roommate Scott and everyone I missed cost me a hundred bucks. You didn't do some of the things that you told me to do. And I found out he lied to me. You didn't eat breakfast yesterday. What are you talking about? You didn't practice your guitar yesterday, and you didn't write in your journal yesterday. These are very easy things. A five-year-old could do these things. You're right, you're right. Um, I ate breakfast, though. That's bull****. And for some reason, this 30-year-old can't. The reason I didn't practice guitar or write in my journal is because no one has driven me to get my car. Well, I got to take those stars off. It's not good. I mean, it's two gold stars. <laughs> You could ride your bike to your car. No, no, that's what I'm going to do. And then this morning, you, did, you didn't get up at 8, so I'm going to keep today off. Two boxes are empty, so... On my way to therapy at this point of the game, I just don't think of it as therapy, and I get through it a whole lot better. Hey, Todd, how you doing? Hi, doctor, how are you? I'm okay. How about you? Doing all right. We're sitting on the couch, and as you, if you notice, if you count the water cups, there's three. So we might have a mystery guest today. Who do you think it might be? I have a funny feeling. I mean, I, come on, I know. It's got to be Andrea. Come on in, Andrea. Dr. Pavlo thought it would be a good idea for both of us to come in and speak with her about our problems. I'm glad you could make it. Thank you. We were talking about a potential fear of intimacy mm -hmm. that Todd has or does not have. What's your opinion on that? I just think he has a fear of getting close to anybody. She, she asked me, I don't think you're going to get mad at me for saying this, but the other night she asked me, she said, you know, kind of like, we had a what's going on talk. And, uh, you know, I mean, here I have in the palm of my hand a great girl. Physical connection sure as hell is there. and. Uh, we have a good time. Yeah, uh-huh, that's it. That's all I got. It sounds like she wants more from you, but can you see how that would be injurious? I don't think it's injurious is the right word. Well, w let's check it out. We have her right here. So would you say it's hurtful? Yeah, sometimes. It's a little frustrating to know that you know, spinning your tires, so to speak, and then he comes to a dead end, and then where do you go from here? Keep it like it is, or move on? The issue is, you have hesitancy to move to a certain level. I am pretty sure that Andre and I are only going to go so far. You know, you want to hear it now, don't you? 
And I'm not afraid of a commitment. If I found the right person, there you go. That's a difficult thing to hear for you, Andrea. And he has said that he doesn't want to move to a higher level. So it's keeping it at this fun buddy relationship. So Todd just really confirmed any delusions you might have that this relationship, you know, is moving any further. So what's your closing comments? I don't have any. When it comes time for Todd to settle down, I doubt if I'll be there. I can't wait anymore. You know, I've waited two years for him. Do you think in your heart of hearts that we'll be making love tonight? Next, music producer Don Wass has a surprise for Todd. I can't tell you the day I'm having today. Then, who is the new producer of Todd TV? Todd or Todd TV viewer Keller? Plus, you're not done with Todd yet, America. Visit our website at fxnetworks.com slash Todd TV and tell us what Todd should do next. Get ready for your chance to vote and be entered in the Todd TV. You call the shot sweepstakes, where you can win a trip for two to the Moon Palace Golf and Spa Resort. You decide, you call, he obeys. I called Don Was, my friend and legendary producer that, of course, I met through the show, and I wanted to get his advice on the demo I recorded with B9 the previous week. Hello? Don. Todd, how are you, man? I got some great news. I, I got lots of great news for you. Why don't you come by the studio? It's not far from where you live. I'll be there shortly. All right, well, I look forward to your visit, man. Cool, great. That's good. All right, bye. Going to meet up with Don to play my demo. It's a song that I wrote, but B9 did their version of it. Not the way I would have ideally chosen, so I'm going to play that version for Don. <laughs> Hey. Hey, Rick. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> How's it going? What's going on, Don? This is a guy who's going to be honest with me. I need that. First thing, uh, this, this arrived, but it's not for me. This is, uh, I believe, someone decided you needed better equipment, so Gibson Guitars gave you a nice less Paul. Wow. Welcome to my life. A viewer named Tommy Donahue thought my guitar sucked, and I should get a new one. Well, you're going to have to excuse me for one moment. Thank you very much. This means the world to me. Okay. Do you need a hanky or anything? Or a... <laughs> I have a CD for you. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, let me know also. Well, let's listen to it. If Don believes in the song like I do, and he sees something there beyond B9's version of it, which is completely not like I intended, then he'll agree with me that it's a great song and we should pursue it. For what it's worth, I really liked it. Their version came out great, but it's not, it's not me, you know what I mean? Let's do what you really want to do. I would work 24 hours a day straight, without sleep. He's really good. He doesn't need the shrinks and, the, and all the things. What he needs is a way to break into the music business. Let me essentially offer you a, a, like a demo deal. You're hurting my brain right now, Don. That's like my, my dream come true. I mean, you know that. I mean, you do I have, that's my dream come true. Well, let's do it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And it only takes one person to believe in you, and I believe in him. I, I, I think he can do this. All right, man. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Yeah. yeah. I can't tell you the day I'm having today. I can't tell you. It's just unbelievable, man. I pull into my driveway, and I see George, and right behind him, I see... Keller from Todd Hall, and couldn't help noticing he was holding his video camera. Hey, man. George. So, uh, you remember Keller? I, how could I forget? What? <laughs> this is the big decision that America made as to whether or not you're going to be taking over a hunk of Todd TV, or Keller's going to be taking over a hunk of Todd TV. 80% of America decided... <laughs> yeah, just tell me. America said that they want a portion of Todd TV to be done by you. Keller, best of luck to you. Thanks. Same to you, Todd. Okay, appreciate it. Thanks very much for George. writing in. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank Good you. luck to you. Take care. Okay. Uh, so now you and I need to talk about uh, your show. What you're going to do with Todd TV. So, 
Welcome to uh, your production. <laughs> so I come into my house and I see people that I see every day on the crew, and they were working for me. First of all, um, farmer's market, thinking a speed meeting. Random people will just talk for five minutes. It'll be a little fun thing to do. Snowboarding. Snowboarding has not been talked about at all. Music? Actual bands that you like listening to? Actual bands that I like listening to. Did you guys hear him say that? Yeah, all right. Sure. You know, I really also want to address this uh, whole womanizing thing. Once lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Once we figured out what we wanted, I headed out with the crew to show America as close to the real me as possible. I mean, the girl likes me. What am I supposed to do? You have a candidate up ahead. She'd say, Todd's great. He's a wonderful guy. Todd's cool. Um, Todd's a womanizer. Do you, no, don't yeah. say that. Don't say that, because the show portrayed me as that for a little. So, um, can I call you later? After we did the Man on the Street interviews, of course I had to get around to my friends. Can, can I have everyone be quiet, please? What do you think about the way he's being portrayed on, on Todd TV? I talk about that girl rubbing my nipples that one night when I wouldn't let, let her walk away until she rubbed my nipples. I'd say, Todd's cool. I'd say, Todd's great. Do you think, you think I'm leaving anything out? We'll find out in the other room. Did we mark a couple things? I didn't. Or were we just watching? I was watching, but I was marking if I saw something good. And you can see that I have no marks. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's not going to be great, but it's going to be good, I think. We hope. We hope. Shooting and editing myself uh, did give me more control, and it felt really good. I really like the way this turned out. Thank you, America. Okay, roll it. Todd's cool. He's charming. Just like his father. Todd's a great guy. Todd has good-looking friends. His passion for music is just off the charts. I mean, he lives for his music. I'm sleeping with my new guitar. I'm dead serious. The band situation, okay? That's not a band I would... I, it's a band I would hang out with, but it's not a band I would be, be with musically, okay? It's, I'm not a punker, all right? I'm not, I don't play punk music, okay? I play rock and roll. I just want to give you guys a starting point for some bands that I do adore. We have Creeper Lagoon slash On the Speaker, same front man. We have Crooked Fingers slash Archers of Loaf, same front man. We have uh, Paul Westerberg and his previous band, The Replacements. Beatles, Stones, uh, The Eels, Van Morrison. And there's a million others, but that's, that'll give you a good starting point, hopefully. The whole reason for this happening right now was for me to show me, because I got to tell you, it's not easy. My name's Todd Santos. I haven't even done that yet. What's your I'm, problem? But deal with it. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Have you ever uh, heard of Todd Santos by any chance? No. My name's Todd. Todd Santos. Have you ever heard of me? No, never heard of you before in my life. How long have you been lo living in Los Angeles? I don't. I live in Texas. Oh, you're here on vacation. No, my son's in the hospital. <clears throat> snowboarding. I haven't been able to go snowboarding once. I, I mean, look at this. Look. There's, there's my pants. My boots. My goggles. All right, this is in my car year round because I got to be close to snowboarding constantly. Okay, one thing I want to mention is I am not a womanizer. Todd's not a womanizer. He's, he's, he likes the ladies, you know, who doesn't? Todd's probably the most honest person I've ever met. Um, sometimes he may be a little too honest, hurt somebody's feelings, but he's true to himself. I'm talking to all of you right now. You've helped me out with a lot of things, and um, I want to take this time to say thank you. Thank you. Next. This is huge. Actually, this viewer submission is one of the kahunas of all viewer submissions. It's the biggest viewer submission yet. What does America have in store for Todd now? Then, it's Todd Hall. Should Todd keep his new life or go back to the beach? Here's what the past six episodes have been leading up to. You'll decide, you'll vote, and he'll obey. Todd, it's George. Hey, George, what's going on? This is big. We got a viewer submission. I know how much you like him. Okay, what do I have to no, do? No, this is huge. Actually, this viewer submission is one of the kahunas of all viewer submissions. But uh, I'll tell you about it when you get here. All right, later. Oh, Todd? George? What's up, man? Not a whole lot. What's going down? Right here, kick ass viewer submission. Wow. One of the biggest ever. All right. A guy named Dave Isaacson from Calabasas. We should thank him later. 
Dear Todd TV producers, why don't you get Todd a job in the music industry? It would help him with his songwriting dream and give him something to fall back on in the meantime. You're kidding me. Want to meet your new boss? Yeah. Come on. Hello, welcome to Mirror Media. Hi. How are you? Todd. Pleasure, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, how are you? And if you don't mind, have a seat. Okay, thank you. Thank you. This is your new boss. You know, there's, there's about a week and a half left with Todd TV. I feel like everything's coming into place. We are a boutique booking agency primarily. We also throw parties, do PR for a bunch of fans within the soul, hip-hop, and indie rock genres. Great. And I was told that you were really into the indie rock scene. That's something that we're trying to build. Perfect. Wow. And That's I'm looking perfect. for someone to help me to expand it, you know, get some bands, um, sign them um, to the agency, maybe get them some deals. Great. And m mainly scouting bands. It's more like being out on the street, being in the clubs, um, that sort of thing. This is definitely, you know, a real job, and, and it starts I, from here on out. I will take it as one. You're definitely going to feel like an insider, not an outsider. You get to get into the clubs. Okay. So it's definitely a social job. I don't want to jinx myself, but this sounds perfect. There's a band called The Licks, and it used to be called The Alcoholics. They're a pretty big hip-hop group. What I'd like you to do is a brief interview with them to see how you are interacting with the band. It was really good to meet it you. It was awesome to meet you, too. Excellent. So thank you so much. Thank you. I look forward to uh, making you very happy. They, oh, I love to hear that. Okay. Thank you so much. Perfect. Take care now. All right, you Bye -bye. too. Thank you. I am excited that Todd is going to be working with me. I think it's a new opportunity that definitely um, will create a lot of openings for both my company and for him. I'm so excited about the job. I didn't even know how much I'm getting paid. She's paying me, right? I've uh, got some questions for you Cass? for the Licks, and I know they're a group that your friends like, and they're coming out with a new album. Right, right, right. I think even if Todd messes up, as long as he shows the ability to listen, to follow some direction and instructions, I think he will succeed. So I'm just kind of going to be myself and just kind of rap with these Absolutely. guys for a, no pun intended, and uh, just get to know them a little Absolutely. bit, and then network with whoever else. It's just Lassie Tassie and J. Ro from the Licks. Hi, what's, 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 what's up, What's up, what's up, J. Ro? Nice, nice to meet you. you got a couple real quick questions to ask you guys. Well, first of all, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the origin of your band? Well, we got started in 1992, you know, King T gave us the name. And how did you guys get transposed into being the Licks? Oh, the Licks, they always called us the Licks from day one, because some people felt uncomfortable with saying alcoholics on the radio and, and uh, on Sesame gotcha. Street Gotcha. Is they, the album out in April? Uh, the new album. Out in May. May? Yeah. Okay. Guys, I think I'm pretty good. I can't thank right. you enough. I want to let you... I know you got a gig pretty soon, so... I'm going to be getting paid a weekly salary plus commission on the bands I sign. I mean, it's not a ton of money, but it's a start. And I'm working in the music business. Hey, what's going on? Get some coffee. Hey, my dog. Wow, that's your dog. Yeah. Wow, what a nice dog, man. He's great. So tonight's a big uh, vote, huh? Tonight's the big question with whether he, you change your lifestyle and get everything that's been given to you, or whether you go back to Hermosa. Well, not. It's not just back to Hermosa, Dad. It's that everything gets taken away from me, or I get to keep my new life. I mean, it's a life thing. It's not just a location thing. And what do you think's gonna happen? Um, I can't imagine them voting against you. It, it's nerve-wracking. This is the way I look at it. People voting, are, are, they're going to know full well exactly what they'd be doing to me if I didn't get everything, and they'd be knowing what they'd be doing for me if they, right. they gave me everything. But I think that, the, that generally people are, are, are good-hearted, so... Yeah, the general public who understands the show and what's at stake yeah. will vote for you. I know that. I don't know if talking to my dad before Todd Hall eased my nerves, but... Regardless, it's always nice to have him there in my corner. Well, it's going to be a landslide in your favor. Next, America, you've given Todd a better life. Should he keep it? Well, Todd, all that's left now is for them to vote. The most important Todd Hall yet is next. George? Hey, Todd. Hi. Good evening. How you doing? Nervous. This is a big Todd Hall. This is the one where 
America decides, do you keep everything that they've given you, your whole brand new life, or they take it away, send you back home? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very nerve-wracking. It's been a nerve-wracking day. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll get to that in just a second, but this is the fun part where you, you get the cash for doing everything that America has said All right. over the week. But you did screw up on uh, a couple of the structure parts of your life with the gold stars. Two gold stars, 100 bucks a pop. So, Nobody's perfect. So, all right, so we're giving you a check uh, this week for $4,800. Right, thank you very much. So take that. You got it. You ready for the, uh, the big moment? Yes. All right, let's okay. go do it. All right. Got a seat for you right there. All right. Well, it's all come down to this, America. Tonight, you are going to deliver your final decision. Did you and he really build a better Todd? Has he earned the chance to keep the life that you've built for him? Todd, when, uh, when we walked in here, you looked a little stunned. Uh, empty, quiet room, uh -huh, yeah. subdued lights. Well, the reason it looks so different is because tonight, it's just about you and the viewers. And on these screens over right here, we're going to take a look at the progress that you've made over the past six weeks. Does he deserve to keep it all? You be the judge. It's all on the videotape. We'll start with his change in lifestyle. Take a look. America found 30-year-old Todd Santos living a slacker's life on the beach. In a house fit for a frat boy. His days were long on relaxation <laughs> and short on responsibility. A viewer suggested Todd leave the beach behind. Now I have a Todd in the house for the last couple weeks. Um, has made the place much cleaner. And moved to his more adult neighborhood with new roommates. In the living room, we don't eat food. Drinks on coasters only. But a change of location didn't change Todd's attitude. Todd's childish behavior soon strained his new household. This is where you sign up for, Carly. This is where you sign up for. Scott is trying to sleep, darling. Well, Scott signed up for this, too. It can be one day was absolutely beautiful, and the next day it's just pure sheer horror. Todd sought forgiveness. All right, I'm sorry, OK? Accepted more responsibility, and even learned from his roommates. I've seen him be a little more responsible. He has, be he has become a little more responsible. But Todd's progress got mixed reviews. I've only seen minor improvement. Well, I got to take those stars off. Okay. And his attitude went from hot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To cold. I just cannot wait for these cameras to be off. And you can still have your heads up your asses. Was that a, was that a proud moment? Do you regret saying <clears throat> that? I think anyone watching this uh, would understand that to keep a happy face on throughout this experience 100% of the time, you pretty much have to be mentally deranged. All right, now during Todd TV, you've gone to sessions every week with Dr. Pavlo. That's true. And uh, there were some significant changes while you were there, sitting on the couch. From the beginning, Todd swore he didn't need therapy. The guy I just gave change to in the Taco Bell parking lot could have told me that. For the first few sessions, he was saying, I do not need therapy. Even when America chose for his therapist to move in with him, Todd shut her out. Am I welcome? You're welcome. You, I'm sorry. When mom came to town... You're leaving real soon, right? Mm -hmm. Their relationship needed Dr. Pavlo's help. The only thing worse than therapy is therapy with your mother. But therapy with mom was a disaster. No one can get close to him now. Todd tried to reach out to his mom, but she had the last word. What are you doing when you get home? Seeing someone who really likes me. Oh, my God. A crisis of his own showed Todd that he needed therapy more than he thought. He reached out for help and called Dr. Pablo. Me and alcohol have been really good buddies, and we've had a blast. But it's really time to not hang out with him so much anymore. At some point, he realized that, you know, I was there for him. I and mean, that's so important. A surprise visit from Dad brightened Todd's mood. <laughs> Whoa! And when Dad joined Todd on the couch, Todd finally had his breakthrough. Greatest joy of my life are my two children. That's pretty profound. The biggest news flash probably I've ever gotten from my father, ever, happened in therapy. Do you still cling to that, I didn't need therapy, or do you think that... I will say right, right here and now, I was wrong. Uh, you guys were right. I needed therapy. I was wrong. 
Look at that, America. Did you hear that? Nicely done at home. Yeah, I was wrong. We worked on your state of mind and your emotional well-being, but we also worked on your relationships. You did, yes. There wasn't much love in Todd's love life when we met him. Todd is not nice. We sort of went out for a few times. His old flame Suzanne tried to sharpen his dating skills. All right, let's just quit while we're ahead. Yeah. After an intense round of viewer-dictated rapid dating... He's been put in a lot of different positions that... I don't know how I would react. I think you're a little bit cocky. America picked Gina to be his new girlfriend. But Todd came clean. I've been seeing Andrea. And America set him free to be with his longtime fun buddy, Andrea. But even when Todd got Andrea what he wanted, he wasn't prepared to make a commitment. Todd will always be Todd. He has the fear of intimacy and the fear of getting close to anybody, and that will never change. Andrea and I are only going to go so far. During therapy, you ended everything with Andrea. Was that a good thing? However this looks on television, I'd rather look like a jerk to millions than be a jerk to one, especially when it's someone I care about. All right. It's obvious from the tons of emails, the viewer suggestions, the way America has voted continually, that the people out there want to make your passion your profession. All right, let's take a look at what you've done in the field of music. Todd wanted to be a songwriter, so America took control and made Todd quit his dead-end job as a waiter. Yeah! I had one customer who said, is Todd ever going to come back? And I said, no. And he said, thank God. Learned some responsibility no. and introduced him to legendary music producer Don Was. How can you say dope? Todd was thrilled to work with Brett Michaels. Rock and roll prevails. <laughs> right here. But wasn't so happy to pay his dues. This sucks. I'm trying to get him frustrated to the point of insanity so that he just plays a great song. God, a poor bastard even sucks at the cables. Eventually, he earned Brett's respect and a spot on Brett's album. Man, it sounded sweet. Next, Todd chose a band to record with. Why can't you say don't die? but immediately questioned his own decision. I don't play punk music, okay? I play rock and roll. You guys are f***ing it up, but it was too late now. With time running out, Todd and B9 pulled it together to record a demo. Dude, we had to kind of come up with our own version of it. Definitely, I think there's things that Todd could have done more. Uh, to take advantage of, of the opportunity that he's had. After hearing the demo, Don offered Todd the opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> Let me offer you the demo deal, basically. You're hurting my brain right now. And America got Todd a real job in the music industry. With this job, you're definitely going to feel like an insider, not an outsider. Wow, what a difference a TV show makes, huh? What do you think about your chances for a career in music? I will tell you this, I can guarantee that my music is better than at least a good portion of what's on the radio today. Now, what happens if America votes to make you Cinderella at 1201 and takes everything away and you wake up tomorrow back in Hermosa Beach? Do you think you can get out of that hole on your own only using the experience that Todd TV's given you? Wow, that's a really good question. If everything got pulled out from under me, I would still be a better person today than I was when I started this. So, gang, here's what the past six episodes have been leading up to. Now, you can vote for Todd to keep the life you built for him, which includes the new look and all the clothes, the bicycle, the electric guitar, the Harley Davidson, the new job as an assistant promoter working at the center of the music scene, and, of course, the demo recording contract with legendary music producer Don Was. Or repossess everything sending Todd back to his tiny room on the beach, his job as a waiter, and no connections in the music business whatsoever. Tell him why uh, you think you should keep everything. What I've gone through was extremely difficult. You know, if you believe that um, I was an honest guy, if that's the impression I gave you, run with it, because that's who I am. I think in that sense, I deserve everything that's been given to me. Uh, I, I came from a very humble place, and I'm better. All right, now you know the drill by now. I'm going to tell you in just a second how to vote, but here is the final question of Todd TV. Has Todd A earned the chance to continue in the life that you built for him to pursue his dream to be a successful songwriter, or B blown the opportunity, making him deserving only of a return to his old life as an aimless beach bum? Next week, Todd will receive your decision. 
be right back in just a moment to show you how to vote by text messaging. Or, of course, you can call toll-free 1-866-VOTE-TOD. Again, 1-866-VOTE-TOD. That's 1-866-868-3863. Vote now. Todd's life is in your hands. Thanks, George. Okay, America, it's time to cast your votes. And remember, Todd's life, totally in your hands, so no screwing around. Okay, this is the very last life decision you will make during Todd TV, and it's by far the biggest, so think it through and do the right thing. Here goes. Has Todd A earned the chance to continue in the life you've built for him to pursue his dream to be a successful songwriter? Or B, blown this opportunity, making him deserving only of a return to his old life as an aimless beach bum? To vote text messaging, text back A or B to code 86331, which spells Todd1. You can also vote on our toll-free number. That's 1-866-VOTE-TOD. For the alphabetically impaired, that's 1-866-868-3863. And all you minors, that means if you're under 18, you need to get your parents' permission before text voting. And check this out. Anyone who votes by premium text message will automatically be entered in the You Call the Shot sweepstakes, where you could win a trip to the Moon Palace Golf and Spa Resort in Cancun, Mexico. God, Todd would be jealous of that one. For more details on text messaging and the sweepstakes, visit our website at www.fxnetworks.com slash Todd TV. Voting begins when this episode of Todd TV ends. And please be patient if you can't get through on the phone. Don't panic. Voting is open until 5 a.m. Eastern Time Thursday. If things could go my way, then I'll be back to say thanks to all you who